All right, well, here we are again. We're going to revisit the E-Big online guitar. See if we can get the neck off the thing. No more procrastinating. No more making little doodads to try to help us out. Today's the day. We're going to see if we can get the neck off this thing. I got my son's brand new exacto knife set that he got for Christmas that he never opened and I opened it and tore the plastic off it and uh, I'm going to use it to try and trim the finish right here and I'm going to change the blade and try to stick it up underneath it and then I went down and bought me a little pallet knife to stick up underneath there once I get it loose so I can try and pry that up and I got a heat lamp and everything will get it heated up but uh, Last time I did this on that other guitar that I had, I uh, didn't score the finish. I didn't try to, you know, do anything to save the finish on it, and I kind of tore it up a little bit. When I tried to get the the tongue extension here, the neck extension, fingerboard extension to release, I couldn't find anything to stick under there but a pie server, so I got my wife's pie server out of the drawer over there and jammed it under there. She wasn't real happy, but uh, we'll see how it works this time. So uh, here we go. Stand by. Seem not go too bad. <clears throat> I'll try this tip on there. See if I can get that. That's the number 17 blade. See if I can jam that up underneath there a little further and break that loose a little bit. And then we'll warm it up. All right, here we go. Stand by. Okay, here we go. I went ahead and scored the neck with. With that blade and then I tried to uh, stick this one up underneath there number 17 blade and uh, that put the edge of the knife a little too close to the body of the guitar start scratching the guitar so I put some masking tape on it and that worked a little bit better but it still kind of tore through the tape so I tried to flex that blade just a little bit thought I could get just a little bit of flex out of it and it snapped it right in half so that's the end of that I have to buy me a blade that's got a a bend in it already so it'll fit up under there a little better but I got it all scored up got my heat lamp on there there's my I don't know if you can see that there's my redneck heat lamp stand a couple of two by fours and a little one by furring strip bought me a heat lamp and a reflector and I went and got me an inexpensive little cooking thermometer I looked at my meter to see if it had a temperature option like Dave's has and it does not. So I'll just try to stick that under there and see see if that works well enough that I can tell what the temperature is on it or kind of sort of how close it is. My little protector that I made is a little tight back here. I need to do a little sanding on it but I'm kind of getting in a hurry. I want to go ahead and see if I can get this off of there. So I'll let that warm up for a bit and see what happens. Something's happening. It's starting to smell like it's burning. I don't know if this camera will pick up the thermometer there, but the the red zone's clear up here. It's 190 there, and the, the mercury's clear up to the top there. I hope we don't pop the top off of it. Shoot the top through the side of the guitar. It's getting plenty warm in there. I think I'll give it a try here in just a second and see what happens. joint you get on a cheap guitar a couple of dowels and a butt joint and if you look at the, oh, it's still pretty warm you look at the end of that I see how cheap this guitar is that fingerboard's made out of plywood and then it's painted black black painted plywood that's how cheap this guitar is but we'll still see if we can do something with it it's like it's got a little bit of a crack in it right there but 
We'll see if we can't do something to get her fixed up and playing again. All right, there you have it. Well, there you have it. It's all apart. It wasn't pretty, but <laughs> we got it apart. Didn't seem to do too much damage to it. The fretboard was coming loose, so I went ahead and just pulled it off. Let's see. I don't know if you can see with this light, but you can see how little glue was on there. Just, just a little, little bump here and there. Glue was all they had on there. So I'll clean that up and re-glue that down and clean that all up. Check on my angles. Put my dowels back in. One of the dowel holes has kind of got wallered out, so I have to figure out a way to fix that. Do some kind of a filler. Or Maybe I'll completely fill it and redrill it. I'm not sure yet what I want to do there. I don't want to spend too much time on this, but I want to give it a good try and get a little practice from it. But, uh, there it is. came apart pretty easy once I warmed it up. I don't know what kind of glue it has on it, but it came right apart. There's my little pallet knife that I bought so I don't have to use the Y-Spy server to pry up on that and get that up underneath there. It worked pretty good. Thermometer worked pretty good for being a dollar store item. A little meat thermometer. My redneck stand and my heat lamp. Harbor Freight Specials. A couple of 2x4s, a furring strip. 250 watt heat lamp bulb that warmed that sucker right up really quick. It didn't take long at all before it was hot enough to get off. So anyway, a little bit of fun with an old guitar. Thanks for watching.